Hey, what's up everyone? Day Trader Rockstar with a very special video. I'm actually announcing my best bet for this week coming up. It is Sunday evening. That's Sunday, July 8th. So this goes out for the week of July 9th. Uh, markets will probably, the futures will probably open up in a couple hours. So they're definitely going to open up unless something happens. And um, so I wanted to put out a video. I'm really excited uh, for this week coming up. The uh, the best bet is going to be SWK, Stanley Black & Decker. This is a stock I've been trading over the last few months. I only trade certain stocks when they get into a certain level. I call it the HPS zone. And if you know me from Day Trading Radio, we trade there every single day live from early in the morning till you know until the close. So come on by, daytradingradio.com. The um, the setup here at SWK. Now, if we look back at the chart here, this has, this has a lot of uh, interesting levels on it. Now, the one thing I always stress is we look at so many different stocks, all right? And it's important to have that stock come to you. Be ready to trade that stock when all the conditions are right. Usually, I am strictly a divergence trader, um, and if you're not familiar with that term, I use the stochastic indicator, stochastic oscillator, uh, with price and some other indicators. It all goes together in what we call the high probability setup method methodology, and from that point on, we'll take our trades, and ideal trade time, time frame for a trade for me on swing trades, if I'm not scalping, is usually three to five days maybe go out to seven days, you know, and that gives us the opportunity to catch a nice move, you know. Uh, you know, when we do have these rotations, when we have a stochastic rotation moving up or moving down, you tend to have the bias of that stock moving up and down. Now, this gets a little bit more complicated in, in you know, in, in uh, explaining these technical uh, terms and stuff. So if you're not familiar with them, I apologize. I'm not going to kind of catch you up at this point, but there's plenty of videos I put out to, to discuss uh, stochastic divergences. It's what I trade. And basically, we're looking at the price making a new low and the stochastics making a higher low. And whenever we have that, and we'd like to get a cap, a capping candlestick, and in this case, these are buy signals where you have a low here underneath that 20 line. Um, we pop back up above the 20 line and the market shoots back down, takes out the previous lows, but holds above that 20 line. That's a classic divergence. Any type of candle, reversal candle, and again, just to make it simple, what I'm looking for is a larger tail or a large reversal candle that takes out the previous lows and then closes um, in the upper section of the candle. <clears throat> so the combination of having that stochastic divergence, a closing candle, and, and if we have a recognizable pattern, and again, that's another indicator in the HPS methodology. Here we had another example. Here we had a big candle which moved up, stochastics moved up. We came back. We took out the lows slightly. It could even be a double bottom. It would be fine, but that actually took out the lows slightly. Didn't really have that reversal candle, but the divergence is a divergence. And from that point on, you can see we had a nice move that, you know, we moved up here over the next few uh, days, maybe seven days. And we always take that, we also understand that because we have a divergence and we have the momentum here shifting, we're taking that trade as a long trade. We also want to pay attention to what happens when the stock gets overbought. Uh, in, in this case, we, we really consider taking this off. And it's very hard to look for those home runs. So perfect time frame five to seven days, three to five days, three to seven days, we'll make it three to seven, um, you know, but always watching that stochastic oscillator until we get into an overbought level and also the other indicators. And from that point on, the overall trend could continue. We actually had another little divergence here, a downward trend line. And again, there's a lot of um, education that goes along with this that I, you know, I, I teach. Understand and recognizing that there is a channel here or multiple pivots. The pivot is where a stock moves from one direction to another. So, you know, we have this little small pivot here, moves back down. We took out the, the took out the recent low. We kind of held up above that recent low on the stochastics, even though we didn't hold above that 20 line. Uh, but we had a decent reversal candle, and then we started moving back up, got overbought, pulled back again, got oversold, pushed up. Got overbought, pushed all the way back down, and we got a little bounce here. Pushed back up to that 20 line, and then kind of uh, j jiggled back a little. And it's not the 
it's not a pure divergence. It's not like a divergence back here, but I do like that reversal candle. I do like what we call a lower trend line bounce area. You can see this channel line or just trend line right here, this pivot here. We hit it here, we hit it here, and we got very close to hit it, hitting it here. And there's a top trend line here we could also measure down. Um, so we're in the lower portion of that pattern. Um, so you can see the low and a higher low, and uh, the low and the lower low on the price. And now we're starting to move back up. So the call on this one is a buy, buy signal. And um, let me see if I can get something up for you. Let me show you exactly what we do here at Day Trading Radio. So at Day Trading Radio, whenever we, whenever I do my watch list on Friday, I send the watch list out to members. And usually on the watch list, there is a best bet. But there's also multiple stocks that are on the watch list that I want to trade that week. It prepares you for the next week. In this case, I, you know, there's about five, six stocks that we're going to be trading. And out of those, the SWK um, is one of the best bets. And this is how they get um, put on the watch list. There's a big list here. Each one has its own chart, has its own um, entry price, and its target, and a stop. And that's all calculated and all put into the back end of our, our trading dashboard. And then, and any of these prices that are hit gets triggered. You get sent the automatic alerts. And if I do any trades, you get those automatic alerts. So let's take a look at, let's take a look at the chart here. And we're going to break this down a little for you. If I can move this around and make it a little bit clearer for you. All right. So let's move it over here. You're not going to see everything about it because let me see if I could scroll down a little, scroll it in. Okay. All right, so here we are. Um, so here's the chart. You get this chart. And like I said, all these uh, triggers and profit areas are all um, inputted into our dashboard. And when, you know, it, it checks the price constantly on a uh, minute by minute basis and if those levels are hit you get the automatic alerts sent you via text or email or and it also goes into our trading dashboard which is um, you know where we all trade together on our dashboard with our chat rooms the divergence here is seen as it's a beautiful candle here which I like that's the selling point for this trade this this nice candle so I want to always whenever we have a divergence a lower part of a channel line and we have the odds in our favor with the stochastic starting to move back up we take that we take that candlestick and we place our stop right underneath of it. That's our real strict money management system, especially with a divergence. It's very easy to identify where you want to put the stop. Now, in this case, you could probably buy it anywhere in in this zone, but I also put a, a buy trigger on this, meaning I want to take out the previous high. I want to really get that momentum going here. We can already see the divergence is there, and the momentum of stochastic is moving higher. And that's one thing I always stress to new traders. It's easy enough to have the odds on your in your favor by looking at, at this simple, simple thing. When the stochastics are moving higher, you tend to have the price moving higher. When the stochastics are topped out over over um, overbought, and we start to rotate down, the price tends to rotate down. And the same thing, we get oversold, we move back up, we get overbought, it moves back down. A divergence is something a little bit different, and it's a very strong, strong pattern. We t tend to move further when we come out of divergence. So here it is. We're going to take this trade, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to take this. I already own some of it. Um, I have a call, some calls in it, but I, I recommend getting some calls in this. Uh, I actually bet looking at the August 35 calls, and I like to see to get those under four dollars. So it gives us, um, it gives us quite a, uh, you know, it gives us enough time. It's trading at 134. You know, if we could get it around four dollars, I think that's a good risk reward trade on the calls, or you could just plain, plain out buy the stock. I don't think there's a problem buying the stock either. Any way you want to uh, tackle this, it's a good one. I'm going to probably end up buying uh, some calls on this and manage the stock as I go because, we, you know, if we do get a big level, I'm looking at the 20-period moving average, looking at the 50 up here, and then this was kind of a little bearish pennant formation and a downward trend, which we had a continuation pattern down. Then we broke into a divergence, to, by the side divergence, so we should easily move back up, if not all the way back up to the retracement trend line or the channel, but at least up to the 50-period moving average, which is in that 139, 140 area as that comes down to meet the price. Like I say, if there's any type of news out there, I say this every day. I mean, technical analysis is great. Our trading is great. But if, if we ever get side, side swiped or, you know, or ambushed by some kind of, 
geopolitical news or any type of any type of news that affects the market, then all bets are off. All right, that's all the bets are off. In a stable market, this thing is ready to go. I'll be trading this one of my number one stocks for this week, and I expect it to uh, get to our target. Uh, I'd like to prop, maybe even hold on to this one for a while. So these are the type of stocks I take on day trading radio. Uh, this is one of our best bet. Many others are out there. I mean, it's, you know, typically if you believe in the divergent setups, that's that's what I strictly trade. Uh, there's other setups that we like to trade. Um, they're all in the playbook, and they're all on the dashboard. And again, I mentioned the dashboard and stuff. Dashboard. I'll give you a fast look at that right now. All right, let me give you a fast look. All right, here's our dashboard. Now it's a little blurry right now what you're looking at because I'm recording. Uh, you know, I have some uh, educational videos on there, but this is the back end of day trading radio. If you go to regular day trading radio, you'll see that the on, you'll see the show every day live. But you have commercials. There's a little delay, but you, but you do not get the alerts. You don't get the RAM bot. You don't get all our, our alerts that we have, our trade alerts, um, all the trading we do, the chat room, uh, all the audio uh, alerts that you have. They're squawk. Um, there's a lot of things that it, up here. The playbook describes all the different setups that. Oh, let's say I had to, had to log in there. Well, I'm not even going to go back there. Let's just go back to the home. This is actually on the outside. This is what you see on the outside. You get commercials and you just get a regular blog and stuff, and you can start to show off there. And like I said, you just go up here. There's a lot of links up here that we have. The playbook describes all these setups and educational videos. Um, what divergences are a lot of a lot of good stuff there. I also teach uh, a course on divergences that you can find at theschoolofstock.com. That's theschoolofstock.com, um, and there's a lot of other things going on in the chats and stuff. But that's it. SWK for this week, and I'm so you know I'm so excited for this week coming up. What I did was I put out a uh, a special uh, seven day pass. It's a free pass, no credit card, no nothing. Uh, um, needed look on the description of the video it'll just send you right to a link you just put in your you know send in your username that you want to use your email and we'll give you access to the site and you get to join us trading this week for seven days free access to the uh day trading radio whole membership forum to get to try it out everything that you need to uh do so i hope you enjoy that definitely take advantage of it this is what it looks like. So go to benefits.daytradingradio.com forward slash open house. Or just, like I said, look in the description of the video. I'll put a link. Or just go to daytradingradio.com. You should see a banner there for the seven-day open house. Click on it. Um, again, just put in your name, last name, email, and pick a username. We'll send you back uh, the information to get in. And just register. And then you'll get your... Um, your link and your password, and you'll have access for the uh, open house. So hope to see you on the site. We have a lot of uh, great stuff uh, for you. And it uh, looks like Monday is going to be a, a great, great uh, beginning of a trading week. So have a good one. I'll see you in the markets.